Hi everyone and welcome back to another video by Less Tax Debate. Today we're going to be looking at the CIS domestic reverse charge from the contractor point of view in zero. So as you can see we're on our zero dashboard but before I continue please subscribe to the page please drop a comment if you found this video informative or if you have any questions please also like the video if you found it useful uh, and help save you a lot of time about how the reverse charge works but let's get into the video so as you can see we're on our dashboard here so what we need to do is we need to activate the the VAT code and then create an invoice from a subcontractor that they've given you uh, put it in with the new domestic reverse charge rates so if we go to accounting and advanced go to tax rates and you can see here we've got add domestic reverse charge tax rates so if we just click on that and it gives you the tax rates that it's going to include um, so we just and if you want to read more about it you can go to the little link but if we just click on the little green button to add them you can see here that it's been added into the list of VAT rates that uh, you have on the system so now what we want to do is we want to create a supplier if we've never used this subcontractor before so let's add a contact We'll call it DEF construction. Can't spell this morning. Um, I like putting it this way because it gives us a lot of um, options to give a lot more detail under the customer as well. So John Smith at hotmail.com. So here is we put CI subcontractor enable deductions. This is where we also set the rate. So they're standard rated, uh, the organizational type, limited company. We'd also put their unique tax payer reference in, the verification number, everything like that. So if we just save. Okay, so now let's create a new invoice from them. So it's a bill. Okay, so they've, they've supplied us services 1st of March, due date will be the 8th of March. All right, description, this is where you put whatever you want. So five days labor, one thousand pounds. Count CIS, labor expense. So under normal circumstances, what will happen under the old rules would be that it would be a thousand pounds plus 20% minus the deduction would leave a thousand pounds due. Now, if we change this to the CI's domestic reverse charge, you can see that there's a thousand pound total. The VAT has now gone to zero uh, with the 20% charge, which means there's 800 pounds left. So now let's approve that invoice, that bill, shall I say, purchase invoice. And now let's go and have a look in our VAT return to see if it's been uh, accrued in there. Um, just so you can see how it deals with the domestic reverse charge in your VAT return. So if I go to that, you can see here total box number is 1,342. If we look at the transactions by box, you can see it's the CIS labor under the domestic reverse charge VAT on expenses and 200 pounds has been claimed, but also there's been a credit of uh, 200 pounds there as well okay so it's it's dealt with the VAT okay that's how you record domestic reverse charge transactions obviously be aware that any jobs that are linked um, under the construction industry scheme so if someone supplies you materials then supplies the labor to install it that's a linked transaction so that has to fall under it but if someone literally just supplies you materials it's still standard rated so just be mindful of that when you're putting this in. Uh, so all your builders, merchants and everything else will still charge you VAT uh, as standard because it's a supply of materials. It's not to do with the construction energy scheme. It's a supply of materials. So that's it for today. And as I said at the start of the video, please subscribe to the, to the channel. We've got more content coming out. I know we have been a bit lax with it, um, but there's more content coming out uh, very soon. But even though we haven't, uploaded any new videos recently we are still gaining subscribers which is really really good which means the content that we have produced is 
helpful for people. Uh, we've got videos coming out weekly now. We've referenced all the different types of software. We are going to start doing stuff on uh, Receipt Bank or Dext as it's now called. Um, so please keep tuned. Uh, it might help you with your automating your business, making it easier for you. Uh, so please keep that in mind. And until next time, we'll see you soon.